there. Here we go. This doesn't feel right. Something ain't right about this. The curtain opens, and it was all sound effects. It was just Scott and Jason standing there, and there was nobody else in the place. That was a clip from the new VH1 show, Confessions of a Teen Idol. I'm with the stars of that show, Scott Bale, Chris Atkins, Jeremy Jackson, and Eric Neese. Uh, Scott, you got to explain that clip. Dang, that's me. Uh, that was... Merely to show how fleeting fame really is. How did it feel, Eric, when that curtain opened and there was nobody there? I didn't think it was Confessions of a Teen Idol. I thought it was punked. <laughs> there was a little Ashton Kutcher something. in there. I'll tell you something funny, though. We're backstage, and, and, and Eric says to me, when the, they, they all started clapping for Scott and everything, he goes, that one's real. <laughs> You saw, you saw all the smiles on our faces yeah. all laughing and smiling. That was to cover up how stupid we felt. <laughs> so did you feel sad? Did you feel angry when those curtains opened? You saw nothing? When did you angry. feel? <laughs> angry. Mad. Yeah, well, you know, because we, we were pitched the show a certain way. Yeah. And it, they can't tell you everything. Yeah. Because it is a reality show. Mm -hmm. um, and there's always going to be that element of surprise no matter what reality show you watch. Um, so we knew something was coming. We didn't know what was coming, and that, and that was just an that example. Was there. Right, first day, boom. First day, yeah, dang. Wake up. Guess what? It's not what you thought. So. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Has anything mean like that ever happened in real life to any of you guys like that? Getting punked like that on just, national just television? Just embarrassment. <laughs> no, just embarrassment. Like, dang. Oh, I think as actors we're embarrassed that constantly. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much every day. <laughs> I had to run down a beach for four months in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Looking hot. <laughs> and we'll look good, it looking worked, hot. But... Um, Eric, you're from the real world, the original, very first um, se a se season of mm -hmm. the real world. And I have to tell you, I don't know if you know this, but the real world inspired America's Next Top Model. I combined the awesome. real world and American Idol and set it in the modeling industry. So she owes and... you some money. Yes. <laughs> you're now my manager. A lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was very inspired by uh, the real world. So wow. tell me what it felt like being on top, you know, with the real world and the grind, the dance show that you had. Um, well, I guess, you know, everything that does come with fame, it's pretty exciting, all the little perks and, mm -hmm. and everything that you get. But uh, for me, being on top, and I'm sure that you can relate to this because of the T-Zone, and that's why I sang the song. Yeah, when I came he walked out. out. You guys couldn't hear, but he sang my T-Zone chant that my girls do. You want to do it right now? My, my T-Zone -zone sister, sister, what's up, what's, what's up, up, what's up? up? How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> he sang it in my ear when I hugged him hello. I, I can't take credit for that. My girlfriend who's sitting over there with my mom. Um, Did she go to my camp? No, but she knows of it, and she oh. saw the website, and, and I researched your, your, your uh, organization and stuff, because I'm heavily active in charities and working with, uh, with kids. And, oh, wow. Um, this last Very couple nice. of years, I've been a life coach helping to rehabilitate drug addicts. Wow. Um, so that's, nice. you know. Yeah, for sure. Amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, when, when you say being on top, the truth is, of the 17 years that I've been in this business, this moment right now, mm -hmm. I'm at the height of my career. Mm -hmm. My dreams are coming true. Um, you know, my brother who's sitting here in the audience. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Guy right there. We, we, um, we trained with the eighth generation grandmaster uh, from Vietnam, and we learned a, a, a lot of great things from him, a lot of knowledge. And mm -hmm. we implemented the knowledge that we learned from him into our own personal lives to relieve us from our addictions and our vices. And we were you an addict? Uh, yes, at you one were? point. Well, to a number of things. It, it started when I was about three years old with my first bowl of sugar. You were or addicted cereal, to sugar. as we call it today. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we developed these seven disciplines. So you're addicted um, to sugar and drugs too, or just It food? started with sugar, and then as I got older, I was introduced to other things and okay. went down the dark road, very similar to Jeremy. We can relate on a lot of different levels. Um, but I never went to, to rehab or any of those things. Mm -hmm. I trained with my grandmaster, and with the help of my brother, we were able to heal ourselves. Mm. So it's these seven disciplines that we have developed um, that we want to bring to the rest of the mm -hmm. world. Wow. Yeah, so this is it. You know, to be able, 
The reason why I came on this show was because it's a platform mm -hmm. to be able to promote and raise awareness for the things that we're passionate about. And being here on your show, you know, and watching President Obama, you know, and really coming after that is like, um, <laughs> it's a little too surreal. Uh -huh. um, so I'm He's I'm making so all of thankful. us better, right? He's oh, making all of us better. It's incredible. It's yeah. incredible, yeah. incredible what's happening. Yeah. I'm so grateful and thankful for you to have us here and to be able to just to say the things I just said. And that's what it's all about for me. We'll be right cool. back. You're welcome. for our VH1 Confessions of a Teen Idol stars. Do we have any uh, questions for these guys? Stand on up with your question. What's your question? This question is for Scott. Um, did your role in Charles in Charge have any impact on how you raise your daughter today? Zero. Zero? <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing, there is no training for having a baby. Yeah. Zero. But you know, you're the original Manny. I think. Yeah. Right? You're well, like the first uh, it's, uh, one. But I tell on you, what, are you, are you, are you old enough? How old are you? Twenty-three. You're like you're fifteen. No. <laughs> but having a child, my, 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 having a child, by the way, is all about the mother. And my wife is an amazing mother. Um, she, my, my wife has a 19-year-old daughter, so she's been to the rodeo. Um, and so with, with this baby, who's now 14 months old and just starting to walk, I mean, my wife is like, boom, bottle, binky, this type of slapping on boom. It's like she's like unbelievable. So there's my, there's my kid up in the wall. But, she's so cute. So to answer Aww. your question, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. I have a question for Jeremy. Um, there were so many hot girls on the set of Baywatch. <laughs> Did you ever sneak a peek at any of them changing? Oh, Can my gosh. <laughs> Carmen Electra. You didn't have to sneak a peek. <laughs> um, yeah, no, many times, actually. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, you, you know, you'd have to, the girls would have to, like, go run to change before their next scene, and we would share these trailers that were identical, and I'd be like, okay, she has to change, five, four, three, <laughs> bathing suit's probably coming down, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was 14, of course I did, yeah. All right, next question. <laughs> Who else has a question? Stand on up. What's your question? Hi, my question's for Chris. Um, I know you were in Blue Lagoon with Brooke Shields. My question is, have you ever been romantically involved with any of your co-stars? <laughs> Did you and Brooke, like, date? <laughs> Did you date Brooke? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Blue Lagoon, she was 14 and turned 15 on the island, you know, so that was a little... And how old were you? I was eight. 30. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was 18. Oh, you were 18, so yeah, she I, was jail bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, sh we shot that offshore. Everything's legal offshore. But, uh oh. Um, yeah. no, 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 she was, she was a, a, very, a very good friend. We grew up a lot together on that island. But, you know, it, uh, honestly, the, the director of the movie wanted me to fall in love with her um, for the movie. Did you? For obvious reasons. Did and, you? She, um, she's sticking a. Did you? He, he took a picture of her and stuck it over my bed because I lived on a boat for for a while, and I had to look at her every night before I went to sleep. And you um, fell in love with her. Well, you know what we did, and and you kind of fall in love with every co-star that you work with because it's. No, you don't, child. I, you don't. <laughs> I've done a couple movies. I'm like, mm. well, I had some. I, 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 I was lucky. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was it, it was something special. It, was, it really was. Confessions of a Teen Idol airs Sunday nights at eight on VH1, and we'll be right back. Thank you. coming on and being Pleasure. so honest and open and I really do wish you luck in your careers whether it's in front of the camera behind the camera again all work is honorable and I love the, lo the love that you're spreading Eric um, to young men especially and to um, addicts I think that's absolutely amazing um, you guys can go to uh, tyrashow.com if you want to check out our fabulous photo gallery of some of our favorite teen idols today and uh, we'll see you later